word is that Jordanus Ugas, who is now the elevated WBA welterweight champion, after the belt was stripped from Manny Pacquiao, so Jordanus Ugas was elevated to the WBA, the real WBA champion. So he, uh, there was talks, words of him and Errol Spence having some kind of negotiations. He wants pretty much 50-50 in a fight with Errol Spence. <laughs> this is hilarious, man. Boxing, I'll tell you. In no way, shape, and form does he deserve 50-50 against Errol Spence. But I understand this is negotiations. You got to start your bids up high and then work your way down. So likely he wouldn't come out on top with no 50-50. With no That's not going to happen. He was gifted the belt. Didn't fight for it. You got, what, four losses on your record. You ain't got your name ain't buzzing like that. So you you not you ain't got... He, I guess he feel like, oh, I got the belt. And bro, you ain't you got bust so much leverage, homie. It's not even that serious, man. But anyway. Shit, man. <laughs> People saying, well, damn, yo, everyone's giving butt. Uh, the business when it comes to the negotiations. Why not you? Why not uh, you, you guys? Why he can't do that? Why he can't throw a wrench in it just like Arrow been doing? I guess to uh, Terrence Crawford, but he can't because he ain't Terrence. He's not Arrow Spence. He's not Terrence Crawford. He didn't fight for his belt. He has no. He has losses. He hasn't fought anybody. So no, he's not even in the same. He's not even in the same league with Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence, as far as I'm concerned. So like, this fight, um, it'll be a look. I don't. I don't see it being really competitive like that, man. I see Errol sp- smoking old guys, man. I see him smoking him, taking that belt. So if Errol doesn't, and you know, more than likely Errol's not gonna give him 50-50. Because, look, if he give Ugas 50-50, that's when everybody going to say, well, why you ain't give Bub 50-50? <laughs> so, I don't think uh, that's going to happen. Ugas is an idiot. If this, Whatever they offer him, he should take it, man. This is going to be you know, one of his biggest paydays ever in his life and a big opportunity to win two belts. So, why would you screw that up? Because, you know, Keith Thurman was getting in his ear trying to entice him to fight. And I don't want to see that, man. I don't. I would not want to see Keith Thurman fight Ugas. I mean, I love to see the fight, but not when he's holding the belt, because I got a fear that Keith Thurman might try to hold on to that belt again. You know, like last time, he might try to hold on to the belt, but he'll end up getting stripped, like he did last time with his other belt. But I don't want to see that fight right now. We don't need anybody else throwing any wrenches in. Um, because if, if, if I had a, if Keith Thurman was going to actually fight somebody, then I would mind, I wouldn't mind him fighting all guys, taking a belt from all guys. And then Arrow end up scrapping with Thurman. I would love to see that. Or Thurman end up scrapping with Terrence Crawford. So Crawford can get the WBA. And then now Crawford have two belts and Arrow got the two belts and then wham, bam, here we go. Undisputed, uh, bout, you know what I mean? So that would be dope, but I don't have the faith in Keith Thurman or even Pacquiao. If Pacquiao was to fight Ugas for the belt again, if they had did it like that, he might try to hold on to the belt again. I don't, I don't like when they do this shit. They holding on to these belts for like a year, two years, and don't defend the title. No, I don't want to see that. So that's why I want Pacquiao removed from the equation. I want Keith Thurman removed from the equation. I just wanted to be Ugas. Bud and Arrow. I just want to leave that mix right there. I say, if he's, because look, if if all guys don't take what Arrow Spence is going to give him, then that leaves negotiations for Terrence Crawford to fight all guys for that belt, man. That would be dope. I want to see that. I don't, I, I want to see a two, two, two belt, man. I want to see like the two, the current two champs both have two belts. I, that shit would make it so ill. That's what I want to see right now. So I think a better look would be your Dennis Ugas fighting Terrence Crawford. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, if anything, fall, if things fall apart all the way between Errol Spence and Ugas, 
But this fool is demanding fifty fifty, pricing himself out. He's an idiot, but you know he's he's feeling himself because of the belt. My man got tuxedos on and all type of stuff. He he's delusional right now, but you know whatever, man. You know uh, that would be the best way, man. I want to see. I want to see Thurman fight. Uh, I mean, I want to see Bud fight. Who guys for that WBA? So then Bud could have a little bit more leverage, and that fight could be a little closer to maybe a 50-50 fight. Probably still won't be though. Probably still won't be. You know, like I said, you know, we we could talk all day about who done the most. You know, I'm not really. I hate getting into shit like that. I just I just want to see fights, man. But technically. Errol Spence has done the most in the division, but overall, Terrence Crawford did. But we don't go off of it like that. We go off of the division, what you did the most in the division. And hands down, Errol Spence has done the most. So this should be interesting to watch and see how all of this plays out. My assumptions are we're probably going to end up getting a Terrence Crawford fight because Ugas' team don't seem too bright. They're probably going to say, oh, you got the WBA. You should get 50-50 or walk. But they tell them that they're idiots. But if they do, then the next, the next feasible, the next, the, 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 the next uh, negotiations that make the most sense will be Terrence Crawford versus Jordanus Ugas. So I think that's most likely what we're going to see happening next. But we'll see. And then now, I guess... Hey, if Arrow is serious about it, that will make the fight even more closer between Arrow. Because there's nothing else left for either one of these dudes. There's nothing really left, especially for Arrow Spence. There's nothing else left for him to do, really, in the division besides fight Terrence Crawford, but possibly fight Ugas, and maybe one more fight, man. Maybe with uh, give Ennis a shot. I got to look at the rankings and shit first. I, you know, maybe give Ennis or somebody... Virgil Ortiz, somebody like that, or shit, man. If if one of them become uni- uh, undisputed, then you know f- defend that, give Keith Thurman a chance, see what he. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I would like to see that if one of them were undisputed, maybe they can, you know, throw Keith Thurman in the mix or something. But that's a pointless fight, really, man. I don't think Keith got it in him no more. If that fight ever happened, I think Keith would just go in there for the check. I don't think he got the the hunger no more for the sport. But anyway, let me know what you think about the situation with your Adina's old guys demanding 50-50 to fight Aero Spence. Like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all later on the next video.